Her voice is like an instrument on its own. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love voices that like they have a little bit of a rasp to it. Oh, mm -hmm. so gorgeous. Hi Angel, so welcome back. Today I am gonna be checking out to Aina the End. So this is I am gonna try to pronounce this. So the title is it goes Kinmokse, which is it's like some type of a flower, so I looked it up. I'm not honestly familiar with it. Uh, it's like a devil wood. It's it's mostly uh, native to like Eastern Asia. So I'm not familiar. Plus, I'm not really all that good with the flowers that are like more different than like, you know, your most common known ones. So, okay. So then there's again, this feels like, you know, which e with each flower, there's some kind of like representation. Each uh, thing has some kind of like a meaning behind it. There's either like love relationship or something else going on in there. So I'm not hundred percent sure with this one. I kind of uh, looked over a little bit here and there. I didn't really found too many things that it would stand for maybe so maybe it's just my google i don't know uh let me know if there's like you know more to it uh so this came out on 27 i'm filming on 29 at the moment there's still no yeah there's this korean auto generate closed caption which is not really of a help for me if there is you know like a meaning behind it and stuff like that um so i'm just gonna go ahead and check it out i uh, love her um presentations i love her like style for things i like how it's um it has a lot of like for example like maybe like interpretive dancing or something like that so it shows a little bit of feeling through motions and stuff so you kind of like trying to figure it out or maybe piece things together and stuff like that sometimes it works out to where i understand things and then most of the time i really do not so i'm gonna go ahead with this one and see if i can figure out anything if not you know at least i'm here to enjoy her um her voice song even though i don't know it it's okay let's just get to it and then afterwards i'm gonna try reading some of you guys comments let's go it's like a little potion oh look magic oh water <laughs> Almost like a little bit of a sadder emotion. I love the beat of this, and I like how it's focused so much, you know, on the, the vocals stand out so much in this song. Maybe 
all over the place or something. Her oh, voice is like an instrument all in its own. I absolutely love voices that like they have a little bit of a rasp to it. Oh, so gorgeous. Kind of like a photo shooting kind of look. Dark water is gonna creep me out. One of those is just me. So it's an overall, it's like an emotional, I don't know if it's necessarily like an emotional roller coaster or not, or it's just the emotions to where it leads towards, you know, sadness maybe, or not like an unfinished relationship of some sort, or this could be just really a presentation overall of anything, you know, with uh, her, her stuff. Unless I have a closed caption to where I'm able to like piece some things together, I don't personally understand it. But I, you know, if any of you guys are fans, I can say we 100% agree that her voice is just so worth checking things out. It's so wonderful. It's honestly really, um, it's been my kind of like thing for, for a while, for several years now. I absolutely love women that have like this like a little bit of a either a deeper voice or raspier voice it's just such so amazing to me to um, kind of like seeing that control over something like you know that some probably would find like oh that that's just a whatever you know kind of a voice it's but finding the, that control to it to make it sound so absolutely gorgeous that you know I love that. But of course, I also love my uh, man with a little bit of a deeper and a raspier voice, too. It's just kind of like, it works. So, but this was very gorgeous, very simple, uh, very subtle. It does has, to me, feels like it's more towards uh, sadder kind of a overall view. Um, I don't know if this has to do maybe like with a relationship or with um, a world something like that you know um but one thing i definitely do not like water that is like especially dark it just creeps me out it makes me activate my imagination and think there's like all kinds of stuff in there and it's a no-no even though i know them there will there is nothing if it's like you know clear pool and stuff like that it's like okay guys let's turn off the light nope it becomes it becomes like a death pond to me so it's a no so you know kudos to her she made it so just flawless and gorgeous and i'll be just like freaking out in there so let's go ahead and leave a comment behind and um of course we're gonna like the video um let's go Mm -hmm. I kind of got stuck in my head. All right, let's see. I can be able to see any of the. You know, I'm a man with simple taste. I see Aina. I like. That's a great way to do things. First best album of 2021. This is just beautiful, amazing. 
so beautiful a song i could be saying that all day even if she was just reading the photo <laughs> phone book you know what with that kind of a voice i agree beautiful song happy birthday queen mm -hmm, mm -hmm. reading from finland merry christmas merry christmas happy new year favorite solo artist of the year so this was gorgeous i am kind of curious on um if there is the connection with the all the lyrics and the the plant itself you know the flower or whatever um usually there is so that's why i'm kind of curious i might later go search for a lyrics and go deeper into the flower see if there is something like that and then it's just my google wasn't able to catch up with it right away and stuff so thank you so much for this great edition of having more i'll leave in the comments below that was great for channel hit subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time